That's sweet. How can... How can you love me, though? You know, if she knew who you really were... <laughs> What's to love? She wouldn't love Is there you. anything to love? Like, you're so... You are the most unlovable like, person. <laughs> no you're one a mess, you. man. You're a disaster. Just saying that. You, can't you don't do even anything love anything right. What's to even How love about you? Love loves you? you? You're not a lovable person. What's to even person. love about you? You're not nice. You're not funny. You don't you're deserve you know, you love. You, really you're you don't deserve love anything. Everybody hates you. Nobody. Love you. You're a you failure. Don't. All you do is screw up. You. When's the last time you don't deserve you something anything. right? You can't do anything right. <laughs> you can't do anything just right. Try harder. There is nothing to love about you. You no are the one most loves. You don't even know what lovable love is. person. You don't even deserve love. If anybody you don't even deserves love, anybody. No definitely people, people you. love you. No, just saying you don't deserve. What's to even love about you? What's to even love about you? You're not your lovable person. You don't even know nice. You're not funny. You lock yourself in your mess, man. man. You're Shut disaster. up! No one you can can't do anything How can right anybody love me if I can't even you? love myself? What is my hair doing right now? Like, ugh. I look so... Why should my hair ever do that? You look better. Maybe more people would like you. Jeez, my face is breaking What are you out talking again? about? You're never really, gonna be better. Really it doesn't matter how gym. hard you try. Like, look at you, Sheesh. you're stuck wow, that way. I wish I had a better yeah, to be so... It's not good enough. You're never shape. gonna be good enough. I wish I was losing more weight. I'm not losing never it quick enough. I'm not eating. Enough. How am I, I still better losing weight? losing weight? I don't know why you I try so hard throwing up to do it, but it's You're never gonna be good enough for anyone. I look and just like you're better This is helping me, right? This is helping me. I just look better. Maybe more people would like I you. I want to be better. Man. I see why she left Why you. do you think you're good enough? You will never you look like that. be I good enough. Who would want to stick you around never with that? You're a mess. Be good look, other look at the not bags on you. your eyes because you not can't even your sleep. You thought not you for your friends. Maybe not if you stop stress you eating just to throw it up, you'd feel better. Be good enough. Maybe you're better off alone. I mean, who would want to be with you? You're a mess. Look at you. You're disgusting. You're trash. Not for your family. Not for your friends. Not for anybody. You will never be good enough. Get that through your head. You will never be good enough. No matter how hard you try, you will never, ever be good enough. I'm so sorry. I love you both. I'm sorry I decided to end my life. But I just couldn't handle it anymore. I'm sorry that I was never good enough and that I couldn't do anything right. I, I, I tried. I really tried. I just... I, I feel like a failure all the time and I just... I can never... Happy. Please, please don't blame yourself. I didn't show any signs, I didn't show anything, and every time you asked if I was okay, I just, I said I was because I didn't want to hurt you, but inside I was hurting so much. I'm just, I just want to sleep, but I can't because the voices, every time I close my eyes, are nagging at me. And telling me that I will never be good enough. That I will never be anything in life. I'm sorry for the pain that I've caused you and that I... I'm sorry I took the easy way out, but it wasn't easy for me. None of this was easy for me. I, I just didn't know what else to do. I'm sorry. But I love you, and I hope you forgive me. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. The reason I made this video was I wanted to share my thoughts and my story and my struggle in hopes that maybe I'm not alone and may maybe that there's other people like this that think like this that that can relate and possibly help someone else in a world that is so fake it's easy to put on these masks that say I'm okay because being vulnerable can lead us to getting even more hurt we become afraid to open up to people and uh, 
I'm speaking all of this from experience because I am constantly, constantly doing this. I'm so bad at being open and trusting people, but I wanted to change that. That's the whole point of this video. The whole point of this series is to open up and be real and to be vulnerable. I'm so bad at talking to people and being real and being open. Um, which is something I'm trying to work on and it honestly it's so difficult because I, I just I've never been that way so it's just something new that I'm trying to get better at to teach myself to be more open and more trust trusting about three three weeks ago I went to the doctor to ask about some sleeping problems I was having and uh, these certain moments in life where I would emotionally and mentally just crash. I'd hit this low point and this emptiness that I just couldn't explain or I didn't even have a reason to. That was the worst part was I would just feel this emptiness inside, but it wasn't for a reason, you know? It was unexplainable. It wasn't like, oh, I did this and this and then I just felt sad. It was just like going about my day and then it would just hit me, you know? And I would just, I'd crash and I didn't know what to do to bring myself back up. And I wasn't sure why I felt this way. I don't, I didn't know why I felt so alone when I was like surrounded by friends. It didn't make sense to me. I didn't, I didn't get how you could be surrounded by your friends and loved ones and still feel the loneliest you've ever felt. Uh, and that was, that was getting to me because I didn't know why. So I went to the doctor and I wasn't sure what was going to come out of it, what he was going to say. Like, for sure, I thought something could po like possibly be wrong, like, you know. Or I was just waiting for him to say, oh, you're being dramatic, you know, you're, it's nothing, you're just being silly. The doctor said I had severe depression, high anxiety, and traits of PTSD. And, you know, I, like, I thought there was something wrong with me, but I didn't expect it to be... To that extent, all I could hear was his diagnosis ringing in my mind and he was he explaining the medication that he wanted to put me on and the side effects and this and this and this. But the whole time I just, I couldn't concentrate. I didn't comprehend anything he was saying because I was just, I felt I had this sinking feeling like I started the new medication, right? And I got really sick. Like the side effects were like nausea for like, there was an antidepressant and like the side effects were like nausea, uh, possible vomiting, lightheadedness, uh, this and this and this. And I was like, it won't be that bad, right? It was so bad. It was, oh my goodness. I didn't, I didn't think it would be that bad, right? But then it turns out I was allergic to the medication that they put me on, the first one. So like all my side effects were like a thousand times worse than what they should have been. I hated it. <laughs> It was, it was rough. So I've been going through this for a while. Um, just coping with it in a way because I'm not used to it. Literally the week that they, that I was diagnosed, I, one, I felt sick, but two, I really, I really let it get to me. I, I let the labels that were given to me during the night, like during the diagnosis, uh, that the doctor gave me, I let them begin to define me. I let them start to tell me who I was. Don't let it define you. You're not the labels that they give you. You're so much more than the struggles and the problems that you're going through in life. And just because you have depression, it doesn't mean you have to be depressed. I know that sounds stupid, right? And it just it sounds really dumb and a lot easier than what it is. But like, it's realizing that you're much more than just a diagnosis that... You know, when I found this out, all I wanted to do was lay in bed and sleep away all my problems and not talk to anybody. And, like, I really let the depression make me depressed, if that makes sense. The reason I'm doing this now and not five years down the road when I'm past it and through it and have gotten used to the medication or... I'm feeling better is because I want to go through this with you. I want to look back five years from now and be like, wow, this is where I was and this is the improvement. This is how much better I've gotten. And um, it's just something we can go through together, I guess. I'm not the only one with problems, struggles, a story. There's so many other people that they have these stories and these feelings inside and they don't know how to express it and they don't know how to let others 
in because they're just so used to being closed off and putting this fake smile on their face and telling everyone that they're okay inside they're they're dying because they have just this confusion and this pain and they don't know how to let it out i want to be that platform i want to create a platform that gives people the ability to share their story to share their problems and you know not feel alone because that's the biggest thing is like we're in this life you know right now together but it doesn't feel like we're going through it together i feel like we try to go through these problems by ourselves. uh we try to go through them alone because we don't know who to turn to and we don't think that there's anyone else going through what we're going through and maybe i'm wrong maybe i am the only one that has these crazy thoughts constantly running through their mind nagging at me but like maybe i'm not and maybe we can help each other through this and maybe you have a story that someone else can relate to and you can help them i would absolutely love to talk to collaborate and work on a way for you to get your story your feelings out and be able to express it to others um i know a lot of people uh don't feel comfortable putting their face out there especially with something as vulnerable as this i totally understand but just because you don't want to show your face doesn't mean you shouldn't show your story and uh i'm gonna put my email either down in the description or right here and you guys can look at it and email me i just know that there's more hurt and more pain out there and the only way to move past it to get through it is to work through it and maybe we can help each other the just simply talking to this camera has helped me so much and you know when you're saying things out loud uh you're hearing yourself and you're really thinking and it really helps this has really helped me and um you know even if no one sees this even if i don't post it this has helped me and i hope that maybe it can help someone else.